Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Pops. Today we are going to cook chicken tikka masala. Let's get started. These are the ingredients we'll be using for today's recipe. For a full list of ingredients, please check the description box at the bottom of the video. I have in my hand 3 quarter pound of chicken breast cut into small pieces and I washed it and I'm going to marinate it. I'm now going to marinate the chicken with the following ingredients. 1 tablespoon of lemon juice, 2 tablespoons of yogurt, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, 1 teaspoon of paprika. I'm going to massage this on the chicken. You don't have to marinate the chicken for any amount of time. You can cook right away. First I'm going to preheat the oven on broil. Now I'll put chicken on the skewer. I'm putting about 8 pieces of chicken per skewer. I have some water in the pan so the chicken will stay moist. Now I'll put the chicken in the oven and keep it for 7 minutes. It's 7 minutes now and I'm going to remove the chicken. The chicken is now 60 to 70 percent cooked. Now I'm going to start making masala and the balance of the chicken will be cooked in that. We'll start cooking by putting oil in the pan on high heat. This is half a cup of oil. The oil seems to be quite hot now and I'm going to put one medium chopped onion. Keep stirring the onion all the time so that it's cooked equally all over. Now, we'll keep cooking this onion till the time it becomes light brown and till the time you can start smelling the burning of the onion. This takes about 3 to 4 minutes. Now the onion has started to change color and you can see it's getting brown. It's a little bit light right now. I have started to smell it. The burning of the onion. I can smell it. And next I'm going to put 3 cloves of sliced garlic. And keep stirring. Let it roast. 1 tablespoon of ginger paste. One tablespoon of coriander paste. Now we we'll change the temperature to medium and just cook it for half a minute or so. Next, we'll put one cup of tomato puree. Next, I'm going to put two tablespoons of sour cream. half a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of Kashmiri chili, half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to reduce the temperature to low. The paste looks a little bit thicker so I'm going to add some water. Now I'll add chicken to the paste. Uh, 
I'm going to blend this properly. I'll cover this for about five minutes. It's about five minutes now and I'm going to take the lid off. I shut the stove. Chicken tikka masala is ready to eat. Now we'll garnish the dish with fresh mint. This is our finished chicken tikka masala ready to eat. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, please do so. And remember to hit the bell button so you are notified each and every time we post a new video. And if you have any comments, make sure you leave them for us below in the comment section. And remember to share this video with all of your friends. Until next time. It's time for taste test. We are going to just try chicken itself. You can eat this chicken with rice, naan or roti and enjoy it. I try with mom the first bite. Take the next piece. Nice, soft, tasty. It's just turned out perfect. She's happy. I'll give her another bite. Another bite for now. Another bite. Good. Yeah. Yeah. She liked it. It's <laughs> approved. It's approved. Mama approves. Yeah. She's happy. I can see it in the face. A second bite for me. It's spicy, it's a little bit sour and real tasty. You should try it at home.